everyone! Today is a special morning because guess who we have in the car with us? It's my Nina! Yodi! Mm -hmm. That's right, Yodi, today's vlog is about you. We are actually on the way to the vet. <laughs> And not in our previous vlog do we say vet for baby sushi, we mean the ah. actual vet for Yori. Yori has pretty bad separation anxiety. We have well, crate trained gotten, her. It has gotten bad recently. Yeah. Odd apparent reason. Yeah, because she never likes being home alone, don't get me wrong, most pets do not. But we've crate trained her and she was always been fine. She doesn't like it, but she calms down. She lays down. You know, she has a nice crate, nice bed. We give her treats, and yeah. she just takes a chill, and she's good. And we have it in a nice, like, dark, comfortable setting for her so she feels secure. Lately, it's been getting pretty bad to the point where she is, like, ripping and clawing at the gate, and literally we saw that one of her, one of her nails has fallen off from yeah, her from her going and then a couple other ones are like swollen like they're like cracked like at the base and like they're looking pinkish around the base and not very good and it was just like she's never done this <sighs> yeah she's never she's this has never happened to her so we're just like what the heck yoni so we're on our way to the vet our vet they're super nice they have multiple doctors there so they can fit you in pretty much any time and any day hi baby give by that all your attention. Dee, my baby. Yep, that's all she wants is love and attention all day, every day. Which we give her. Dee, porque soy la bebe más bonita. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drive to the vet, see what they tell us. Hopefully it's nothing bad. They just go, yeah, just let it run its course. Here's some antibiotics just for infection, just in case, and or inflammation, stuff like that. I hope it's not a big deal because I don't want my poor Yodi in pain or discomfort. Thankfully, she's not like limping or like excessively licking her like paws, mm -hmm. the one that are, you know, damaged <laughs> per, per se. Not limping, which is, you know, that would be a very big concern. Like Orion, when he broke his dew claws, he would limp. So it was hurting him, it was bothering him, pain. So thankfully, Yodi is not to that extent and we don't want it to get to that point. So now we're trying to have to, when we leave the house, instead of putting her in the crate, we have to put her in our like downstairs guest bathroom. So she's a little bit more room to run around. She still doesn't like it, but at least that way, you know, she can walk around a little bit more. We turn on like the fan, so it's like some kind of like white noise. Ow, so she don't bite me. Let's go to the vet guys and see what they say. You can tell that she just wants attention and love. So as you guys can see, I am the one driving. I do not look my best today. I feel like I threw on anything I could see and there you go. Good enough. Anyway, so like Paul said, we are on our way to the vet. Another concern we do have, I have, is that Yori is pretty on the thin side and I have been trying to up her food but it just doesn't seem like it's working. It seems like she's still very skinny, loses weight, and uh, I, I wanna see what the vet says about that as well. And of course, we're gonna do Yori's exams, things like that, that she truly hates. Guys, we have taken Yori to the vet and we have brought you guys along and the nerves that she gets when she sees that office, she starts shaking uncontrollably, right Paul? Oh yeah. So, yeah, you're about to see that. And me and Paul just make constant jokes. She looks like she's on withdrawal. Yeah, <laughs> like she's just like, I need my addiction. Oh, give it to me now. Okay, so we are here at the vet office. Jenny's going out back. She's getting the stroller ready. Yodi is ready. Look at her. 
Yo, are you excited? I my Nina? Think? My Nina. She's happy, but she doesn't know what's gonna happen. Alright, so let me show you guys where I put Yodi. <laughs> Look at her. She is not happy. But living her best life. And then guys, just for you, look at this. We were told about this. It is, I believe, like an organization that deals with uh, rescue golden retrievers. And me and Paul have been looking into them for a while. You know, getting, looking into getting our next golden. Yay! Now it's time for Yodi to come out. Yodi's like, I don't want to. She's like, safe space, safe space. So we're here in the office. This is their newest office. This is so cool. Safe space, safe space. I'll get treats. Eat a blanco. Hmm. Yodi, how are you doing? How are you holding up? Oh, she wants to come to me. She wants to come to mama. Oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, I'm here, I'm here for you. Well, she's not shaking too badly. As if I'm not. I know, right? She's not shaking too badly. Okay. Oh. We love you. So let's show you guys what we're talking about, her nails. So, so we actually had to clean them up. They were all bloody, which freaked us out. Yeah, so her nails are very long, as you can tell. Uh, Trust me, guys, we cut them, but whew. There's just one missing. Oh yeah. Right there. And there was blood everywhere. We know she had a broken one somewhere. Like, broken ugh. one's in the back. Oh, I think my. that one right there. Oh, you can tell like it's a little Oh yeah, there it is. Not there it is. not looking the best. Mm -hmm. So yeah. oh, we're here for you, Princess. We're here. You. Okay, my pink belly. And she is done. They cut her nails a lot shorter. She got her shot. And the back one, like I said, Paul showed you guys she had a broken nail. And they were able to cut it all the way down, sadly, to the nub, so it can grow back healthy again. Because, oh, Yori's just been at it. And then also the doctor did recommend putting her on some medication to help her relax. And he said for only about like three months, so I can train yeah. her to just try to be calm again and relax. Honestly, guys, I am a dog trainer, but there are some dogs that are just untrainable. And let me just say, Yodi's one of those dogs, she refuses. Like me trying to even teach her how to sit, no. <laughs> she she refuses to sit for me. <laughs> Cause you know, I've had her for so many years since I was 17. It's been a while. She's been by my side and the whole entire time. So I think she just looks at me like, I've seen everything you've gone through. I've practically raised you. I'm not listening to you. That's what I get from her, right Paul? Mm-hmm. Jordi, right here. I don't like it. I want to go home. Yo, she's my pinky. We have lots of treats, lots of love, lots of cuddles we're going to give to her when we get home. So, guys, Janice is driving once again. Where's the cap and gloves? Got the cap. Where's the gloves? Sorry, I forgot those that. But, anyway, so we're heading home now. Jordi is doing much better. She has her little bandages. She has matching bandages as well. I think the doctor gave us some medication to help. Soothe her. But she won't be on them for too long, for like no more than three months. Yeah. And I did tell the vet that I'm a dog trainer, so he put that in consideration, which is great. And I was like, we're gonna, she's gonna be on these calming medications. While she's on these medications during this period, you need to train her to, you know, be better with her separation anxiety, which we talked about different ideas, different tips and tricks. So, yeah. Don't I have to do my part plan. too. <laughs> It sucks. Like, Yodi has never been this bad. Oh, no. And he's like, you know what could have happened? He's like, we do live in Florida. Lots of thunderstorms happen here. He's like, it could have just, like, thunder hit really close or a lightning thing. And just, it really scared the hell out of her. Yeah. So now every time the crate, she rationalizes it with fear rather than just a calm, cool, loving place to go hang out. Yeah. Which is what we've always made her crate be. Hi. Oh. Oh. She wants some music, that's why. Uh, so real quick while Sushi is relaxed, because I want to 
get this vlog wrapped up. The doctor said put her on medication. What else? Another thing he did recommend because of her nails didn't look the best. He said he wanted to do a like a show, show cut. cut. So a basically, cut. they just leave it to be like a quarter inch long. But he's like, they will profusely bleed. So we only do that while they are under anesthesia. So he's like, if we do that at the same time, let's do something else. Let's clean her teeth. Yeah. She does have some buildup and stuff. So he's like, you know, she could use a cleaning. That's something to consider. And he's like, you know, if the nails are continuously being a problem, then yeah, let's, you know, let's do it. And he's like, I'm not really a fan of doing the show cut. I love it. But if it's necessary, which for her it possibly will be, let's do it. All right, guys. So that was pretty much the appointment. Me and Paul still have a lot to think about when it comes down to Yodi's health. What's the next step? Maybe do the show cut because, guys, her nails are long and it's hard to push back her veins right now at this yeah. point. And with the show cut, that will be possible exactly. to keep them that short. Uh, let's see what happens. But as you guys can hear, Sushi wants to hear her music and she does not want to hear our voices. <laughs> so do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. It truly means the world to us. Puff, wrap it up. All right, guys. So we are back at home. The baby started getting a little bit fussy and kicking, screaming, crying, just being a baby. It's perfectly okay. Unfortunately, we could not finish the vlog in the car, so we are back at home, and now it is time to finally close it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We truly, greatly appreciate it. So, guys, for now, adieu and good night.